Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a beer blend. Um, it's been a while since I've done uh, one of these videos and uh, this is a video I sort of promised and basically I'll be opening uh, each one of these beers, doing a quick sort of uh, note on each and then, um, well, let's do this one first, yeah, uh, the notes on each and then uh, blending them. So basically, um, this is again, Bourbon County Stout and Bourbon County Barley Wine. You guys probably recognize that very easily. Two iconic labels, two iconic beers. And um, the idea of blending beers is actually not that strange. Uh, Firestone Walker does it with their Anniversary Series. Uh, the brewery does it with their Melange Series and a bunch of other beers. And, um, you know, why not do it with two of the best beers in their respective styles? Uh, bur uh, for Bourbon Barrel Aged Stout and Bourbon Barrel Aged Barley Wine, um, I'd say you'd be hard-pressed to find any beers better than it. And most of the beers that are relevant um, to you know how good these two are are much harder to get. So um, I don't know if you guys already know I'm a huge Bourbon County series fan. And uh, so yeah, let's dig in. Oh, that was a little bit much. I was just supposed to taste, but uh, <laughs> we'll figure it out. So um, this is Bourbon County Stout, 2014. Still reminds me of 14. I've had this batch a good amount. Uh, doesn't taste as good as uh, smell as good as 13. A lot of thick chocolate. Almost ashiness, a lot of bourbon up front. Almost a, uh, I want to say almost like a, it's a restrained kind of aroma. It almost reminds me again of a, a molasses or something really meaty or thick. Wow. I don't remember this much dark fruit in this uh, beer, actually. Hmm. Huge pop of dark cherry up front. Um, yeah, maybe the yeah maybe it's just the bottling date. Uh, this batch that it was bottled on that date um, is a little bit different. Up front tastes like dark cherry syrup, almost like um, cherry soda. Uh, thick amount of bourbon, a good amount of chocolate coming through, um, caramel sweetness, vanilla, coconut. And then again, that kind of restrained quality for some reason that this beer has in 2013 doesn't. It doesn't pop um, a bourbon. It doesn't have that kind of bright, um, explosive kind of flavor for me. 2014 so far for me has been a weaker vintage of uh, Bourbon County Stout. And we're moving on. We have Bourbon County Barley Wine. Um, this is actually a 2013 bottle. Unfortunately, I ran out of 2014 bottles. Uh, only got a few. And um, so hopefully the experiment isn't ruined because of that. A little lighter this time. Oh, wow. Huge bouquet of just berries. Um, it's not tart, but it's almost cranberries, cherries, maraschino cherries almost like strawberries so dark fruit forward wet plums like rum soaked plums bourbon soaked plums yeah just pure fruit punch sweetness caramel sweetness mm, falls on the palate oh man hugely um, rich again of that dark fruit up, up front but then you get the barley one good amount of um, oak, almost a, um, yeah, a uh, stiff caramel, if that makes any sense. It's not completely sweet. It has a little character to it. Maybe it's hops coming through or the oak. It's offering something uh, more than uh, more than the uh, caramel sweetness. Mm. Just like a cherry cordial, wonderful amounts of dark fruit, um, absolutely killer. So, um, let's try to balance these two out. All right, so I'll pour it to the bottle and mounts in the bottle. Don't worry, guys. I will not be finishing these uh, bottles, by the way. Uh, <laughs> there will be help involved. So, I, it's, it's very hard to actually finish uh, this amount of high ABV beer. So, so, yeah, pretty much I have the two bottles at the same amount, I think. Uh, here, actually, let me finish it off a little bit. So this is our cuvee, our blend. Yep, pretty much the same. And um, so yeah, as you see, sort of the, um, the, the, uh, the barley wine's a little bit dark already and then it just still looks pretty dark. 
uh, the, sort, uh, the Bourbon County sort of has taken over the color. Uh, they get a, a nice kind of um, reddish hue to uh, when you swirl it. It's a little bit more uh, brown and red um, on, the, on the rim of the glass instead of the really dark brown. Let's get the aroma. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's awesome. It has the notes of both. Black, uh, dark chocolate, huge cacao, bourbon up front, and then it's like wrapped around in this really sweet dark fruit that I was talking about in this, this beer. Oak, loads of vanilla, loads of like, like wet bourbon barrels, you know, as if it just threw your nose into a sweet uh, bourbon barrel. It's just got that sweetness and the bourbon and the oak. That's amazing. Cheers, guys. <laughs> I'm so annoyed that I didn't come up with this earlier. Uh, I've done this once or twice already, I think. Um, I want to say twice. Um, and I've been to events. I, I actually did it earlier. Um, actually, yeah, earlier this most recent December. And the bar had uh, these two beers on a tap. And I sort of asked myself, why have I not blended the two? And I've been drinking Bourbon County for a couple years now, and I don't know why I haven't, haven't been doing this. I've been drinking Bourbon County for probably three years now. Well, Barley Wine actually only came out two years ago. I apologize. So I could have, could have done it in the last, last batch. But, um, man, this is amazing. Hard to describe how good this is. Up front, sweetness. It's really interesting. It's like espresso, dark chocolate, wrapped around with the sweetness. It's it's a fighting kind of uh, balance of the sweetness and the dark fruit of this one, along with that kind of dark, rich, rosiness, um, ch uh, chocolate, dark chocolate kind of flavor. This beer is a little bit more thick than that one, and it's balancing to two out. I almost get a cherry, strawberry, plum kind of thing. And then it kicks in with a little bit more bourbon from this one, a balance of roast that's sort of cutting away at how sweet this beer can be and, and, and cloying this beer can be at sometimes. Um, I can go on for days. Coconut, vanilla, drying oak on the back. The beer is just absolutely incredible. This blend is fantastic. I recently had Firestone 18, and this is hands down better, not even close. Um, Again, two of the best beers in the style, and blending them, they just magically um, conform into this, you know, amazing balance. The, the dark fruit from this one, the roasted from this one, the bourbon here, the sweetness here, everything just, you know, it's just so amazing. Hi, uh, guys, I highly recommend this. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Sorry for the long video. And um, until next time, guys, cheers. Later.